Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It Blind. Just want to talk to you guys about this uh, this inverter. This is an eco-worthy brand inverter. They make a lot of solar panels and, and boxes and stuff for solar. Um, they also make some inverters. This is a 3500 watt inverter. It only puts out 110, but um, I believe you can parallel it, but that's not the plan that I got going on here. Um, right now you can hear in the background probably that my generator going because I have that running to charge the inverter or to charge the batteries because my solar panels it's been really cloudy the last week so my batteries are getting kind of low but anyway let's go over this real quick here so this is a 3500 watt eco worthy okay solar hybrid inverter now the inverter itself so far has been running for about a month and it's 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 actually it's pretty good so right now my battery voltage you can see is 52.7 volts the output is 110 or sorry 115 114 and that's because it's in bypass mode this is my generator hook coming in you can see it's bypassing the batteries and going to the loads right now it's running at 50 percent capacity because i got my um what do you call it the heat pump the mini split going um producing heat now a little icon here will pop up when the panels are working and it'll show a little arrow that it's going into here and that is to charge a battery. This is basically the inverter, okay? There's also another line that it'll create when the panels are making more than the battery needs. And so it's supplying just straight for the load and charging the battery. And some of the things that it could show you here is it's 80 amps that it can charge up to. That's, that's uh, combined solar and generator or utility. Okay, it's a 48 volt system. 3.5 kilowatts is what it can put out. Tells you the temperature of the unit this is not temperature in the room this is the temperature of the unit right now it's at 22 degrees celsius and that's because it's, it's running the the transformer inside charging the batteries okay and you can see the output is kind of inconsistent and that's just because of my generator now that tells you the load that it's at i don't know what the 346 is this is the input voltage from my generator or utility um, right now we have it hooked up down here and this wire goes outside goes to my generator all these wires are a mess right now I'm building the box right now for the breakers and everything to go into it it's just temporarily set up this here is a 48 volt to 12 volt converter to run my diesel heater as a backup what other settings okay so input it tells you the Hertz the frequency okay and output these should match obviously and right now it's putting 0.52 kilowatts into the battery at the time at this time i'll put this is the output of the inverter okay so if i shut off the generator it'll switch over to battery and i'll tell you the output and we'll, we'll do that here in a minute and right now i am currently charging at 10 amps okay um the reason uh, i can charge up to 40 amps off the utility um, but this generator the max that it can do without tripping the breaker is about 25 amps um, when there's no other loads on so i have it set at 10 amps right now because i'm in here working and the output this is the output from the batteries there's zero amps coming from the batteries because we're bypassed all the loads are running off the generator right now and this is your solar input voltage and the output amps so right now my on a sunny day i should hit roughly 86 90 90 volts um you know somewhere in there between 86 and 90 volts and the outputs you know the output amps can go up to you know 20 20 amps 25 amps um, just because i only have four 395 watt panels and then this is room temp okay this is this one is the room temp and that's my ba my current battery voltage right now now i'm running lead acids okay and i have 18 8 volt 175 amp hour lead acid batteries running this and I, I need that because we are running a mini split for, for heat and AC in here. But I am finding that I need more panels. Okay, now in here, I'll take this cover off. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the cover. It's just two screws. They're Phillips screws. They go on this side and this side. Right here, we have your utility in or generator in. I do not have the ground hooked up because I'm running on a GFI outlet of the generator and my generator is a bonded generator 
okay it's it's there's there's floating ground and then there's bonded generators um, this one is a bonded generator and so when I do when I hook that up it trips the GFI on the generator so I've just got these two hooked up for now and then these are the outputs okay these go out to my panel um, this is what the inverter is actually producing or bypassing from these wires to these wires now these go out here and they go over and supply my panel okay moving over here we've got the battery positive and negative right here that's your input okay you can see that's these wires just hanging here and then i also have these attached as well to to supply the converter box and then we've got this is your your solar panels in you only have one set okay um, so you got to either you got to string them in series them you can have up to I believe 145 volts coming in but MPPT only works between I think it's like 60 volts and 125 volts okay as far as this inverter goes it's been pretty re reliable sometimes you'll get little fault codes they they appear here and this red light flashes okay and when that happens they absolutely will not go away until the condition is you know resolved but beyond resolved so like if it comes on because you drain the batteries too low and it hit the disconnect it will not go back off it'll it'll continue to flash fault until the batteries are 100 percent charged which is kind of a nuisance you know this is going to be um airbnb rental so you know when there's a fault people are going to see that there's a fault flashing and and they're going to give us problems about that so we're going to have to explain that to them another thing is is when this gets too cold okay when this gets too cold it doesn't have a cold weather temperature thing a warning that says fault too cold it says over temperature <laughs> um so so you think that it heated up when it's actually it's just too dang cold for this thing to run um overall this unit has been really good so far okay we we've been running it for about a month and a half now two months um in about a month with the solar hooked up and it's been really reliable the only issue is is when i i forget to turn the heater on or you know it's been too cloudy and the battery died and it would set the faults their customer service however sucks their customer service is horrible you can't get anyone on the phone they have a phone number but it's not really hooked up to anything um, when you when you send them emails they don't respond and when you contact them through facebook they respond once and that's it they don't you know I was, I was asking them if i can make it so you know if i can hit a button or something to change the fault they told me i have to disconnect everything and reconnect everything oh one other thing there is a power switch down here and that turns it on and off now when the power is turned off it will still charge um, it'll still charge the batteries it just won't put out electricity anyway guys um I would definitely recommend buying this. It's about it's about 600 bucks. Um, if you want just a 110, 3500 watts. Oh, one thing. This thing runs my power saws better than my generator does. This can start up to 7000 watts. Um, and I it has no problem running my chop saw and it has no problem running the mini split um, for heat and air conditioning and it also has no problem running my table saw all at the same time off of the batteries. It's amazing. Um, but like I said, you got to figure this stuff out on your own. Customer service is trash. Um, their, their customer service will not help you out in any way, shape, or form. But anyway, it's an eco-worthy 3,500 watt inverter. Most of them are yellow. They do have some white ones. Anyway, give them a try. They work really well. Thanks.